Hello buddies, we are in unit number 5, which is reproduction. We are going to talk about sexual characteristics and the reproductive system, sex cells and fertilization, and pregnancy, birth and lactation. Sexual characteristics and the reproductive system. Sexual characteristics are the physical differences that exist between men and women. Primary sexual characteristics. These are the reproductive organs. And secondary sexual characteristics. These refer to other physical differences between men and women. For example, a deeper voice in men. Poverty. It is the stage of life when reproductive organs become functional and secondary sexual characteristics develop. It may take place between the ages of 10 and 14 in girls and 12 and 16 in boys. However, these ages differ from person to person. Caution! Poverty also causes emotional changes. Our mood can change quickly and we become more sensitive and self-conscious. Maybe that's the reason why you misbehave in class. The female reproductive system. The ovaries contain the female sex cells, known as egg cells or ova. The fallopian tubes connect the ovaries to the uterus. The uterus or womb is a hollow organ with a muscular wall. The baby develops here during pregnancy. And the vagina is a muscular tube between the uterus and the outside of the body. Finally, the vulva is the external part of the female reproductive system. And here you are, a drawing of the female reproductive system, with the ovaries, the fallopian tubes, the uterus, the vagina, and vulva. Parts of the male reproductive system. The testes produce sperm, which contains spermatozoa. The sperm ducts that connect the testes to the urethra. The prostate gland produces liquids which help to transport spermatozoa and provide them with nutrients. The mixture of these liquids and sperm is called semen. The urethra is a tube that transports semen to the outside of the body. And the penis is the organ that contains the urethra. And this is a drawing of the male reproductive system with the sperm ducts, prostate gland, testes, urethra and penis. Sex cells and fertilization. Female sex cells. They are called ova. They are found in the ovaries from birth. They are large drown cells that can be seen with the naked eye. They contain all nutrients required for reproduction and they mature during poverty. Male sex cells. They are produced in the testes starting at poverty. They are very small and can only be seen under a microscope. They have a small head and a long tail which they use to move. Fertilization. When a spermatozoon fertilizes an ovum in a fallopian tubes, they create a zygote. The zygote divides repeatedly into more cells and all these new cells from an embryo. Finally, the embryo travels to the uterus where it continues to grow. And here you are the process of fertilization where you can see where the zygote is created and where it goes after that and when it becomes an embryo. Let's talk about pregnancy first. It is a period from the moment of fertilization until the birth of a baby. The embryo is surrounded by the amnion, which is a liquid that provides protection. Placenta forms inside the uterus. It provides nutrients and oxygen from the mother to the embryo. The embryo and the placenta are connected by the umbilical cord. There are three stages in birth. First stage, the involuntary muscles of the uterus contract and cause the opening of the uterus to dilate. Second stage, the baby is born. And third stage, the placenta is expelled from the uterus through the vagina. And finally, lactation, which is the period when the mother's breasts produce milk. It happens after giving birth. And we got to the end of the lesson, students. Remember, watch the video many times so you remember everything. Created using Powtoon.